Hi there, I'm going to be taking you through my Pokemon team which I'm going to be using in Legends of Arceus. Recently we had the Pokedex leak so we can see what is in the region now. Obviously this is just my opinion of what's going to be important for me in the game. I'm going to utilize a lot of the game mechanics, a lot of strong Pokemon and just one of my favorite Pokemon at the end. As for the starter I'll be choosing, I'll be choosing Cyndaquil and this is because I've always leaned towards fire types in my Pokemon games. Maybe having an early fire type in this game will be even more beneficial though because of the camping features and the crafting features. Not to mention that someone has also leaked the game and has confirmed that there will be Hisuian evolutions for all of these Pokemon. The second Pokemon that I want on my team will be Rufflet, and this is mainly for when it evolves into Braviary. From some of the trailers that we've seen, we've seen that we're allowed to fly in this region, and it'll be used as sort of a paragliding technique. I'm going to be trying to use this as a shiny hunting method where we know that shinies can be found in the overworld. Maybe flying around like this will allow us to spot shinies easier and reset them easier. Obviously this is just speculation right now. For my third Pokemon, I've once again chosen a Pokemon with in-game mechanics built in, and that's Basculin. Or at least the evolved form of Basculin, Basculegion. We've seen from trailers that surfing might be very important in this game as well as critical to the storyline, so I figure getting this new Pokemon and trying it out wouldn't hurt my team at all. The fourth Pokemon I've decided to go for is probably the most popular Pokemon and it will be for most players in the game, and that is Cleaver. Cleaver being the new form of Scyther looks very cool and very unique. We've seen how much damage it can do in the trailers and we don't expect to get this early. However, it will be a great addition to the team once we do finally get it. The fifth Pokemon that I've decided to go for is the new version of Zorua, and that's because of how well they've handled the design. They've made it look rather elegant, as well as making it look like a powerhouse throughout the game. I'm looking forward to using this Pokemon in terms of overworld battles and whatever trainer battles we can find. In terms of shiny hunting this Pokemon, we're not sure if it's locked right now. However, if it isn't locked, it's definitely one that I'm going to do. For the final slot, this has to go to Glade, and that's because it's my favorite Pokemon, both normal and shiny. I've always been a fan of Glade, and I've always tried to fit it in every generation possible. I've always used Glade for the full swipe hypnosis combination when shiny hunting and i figure in legends of arceus this might be more important than ever considering these pokemon can run away from you when shiny hunting flying types for example we're not sure if this is actually going to work but if it does work like this full swipe and hypnosis might be one of the most important mechanics in the game if this is how the mechanics works i can guarantee that this will be the best way to hunt overworld shinies i can already tell that i'm going to be spending a lot of time playing legends of arceus and that's just from the trailers that we've seen I'm looking forward to stuff such as shiny hunting, team building, as well as running through the game on different difficulties. If you enjoy Legends of Arceus content, please consider liking and subscribing as I'm going to be putting out quite a fair bit of it. I'm looking into doing live streaming, shiny hunting and much more. Thank you for watching and good luck on all of your shiny hunts.